norm a2 so these are obtained by having the having the other sheets so a0 sheet ko half karke a1 sheet milta hai so the size of a1 is 594 mm by 841 the size of a2 is 420 by 594 size of a3 is 297 by 420 size of a4 is 210 mm by 297 and size of a5 is 184 by 210 so these sizes are important there may be a question about uh, what is the size of uh, a0 or a1 so try to remember the size ranges uh, for this paper sizes so after this uh, paper sizes the next important thing is sheet layout uh, the layout of the drawing sheet so this is a general layout of the drawing sheet there are various lines so this is the margin line so this line is known as the margin line so this line is called margin line so the sheets are trimmed along the margin line matlab margin line pe sheet ko trim kiya jata hai after printing so this is your margin line and uh, this one is the border line all around so this one is the border line so border line pe ek line draw kiya jata hai and then uh, the inner space is a clear working space for drawings so the specification of our border lines is as per is this uh, border spacing should be at least 20 mm for a0 and a1 sheets so for a0 and a1 sheets the border should be minimum 20 mm and for the other sizes it should be minimum 10 mm so generally on the left side of the sheet the margin is kept slightly larger because when we need to store the files so these files may be put in cover files or net binder so in the left side the spacing is more so that the drawings can be binded on the left side so these are your uh, uh, border lines then there are some of folding marks so here these marks you see these are the folding marks so the sheet is folded along this folding marks uh, there is a particular way of folding uh, so the main uh, idea of uh, folding along the folding lines is so that the title block is on the top when we fold the sheet finally मतलब शील्ड को जब फोल्ड किया जाता है फाइनली फोल्ड होने के बाद ये टाइटल शीट टाइटल ब्लॉक ऊपर रहना चाहिए ताकि इजीली पता चले कौन सा ड्राइंग है सो द साइज ऑफ द टाइटल ब्लॉक इज 185 एटी फाइव एम एम बाई सिक्सटी फाइव एम एम एस स्पेसिफाइड इन दईस फोर सो द स्टैंडर्ड साइज ऑफ टाइटल ब्लॉक इज वन एटी फाइव बाई सिक्सटी फाइव so another type of marks you will see so these are the orientation marks or you can say centering marks so orientation marks or you can say four centering marks are provided uh, to uh, let us know the positioning of the drawing sheet then there is also grid reference systems so here you can see there are several grids 
A, B, C, D. On the left side, this is a grid system is uh, A, B, C, D like this. And here it will be 1, 2, 3, 4. So the purpose of this is to, so when there are several drawings uh, drawn on the sheet, so suppose uh, there is a drawing which is drawn here. So how you will refer this drawing? So we can refer that uh, this drawing is F and from say 2 to 3. So F2 to F3 we can refer in the grid. So easily then we can find that from 2 to 3 and then F. So we know where is the position of the drawing. So this grid reference system is given for easy positioning of the drawings. So these are the some uh, important uh, points you need to remember. So there may be a question like that, uh, where the orientation marks are provided in the sheet. So the answer should be at the middle of the sheet. But then the next important thing is your title block. Uh, so questions have been asked previously about the title blocks. Uh, what are the various uh, things that need to be written in the title block? or maybe give an option that uh, scale, name of the firm, another two options will be given and you need to choose uh, what is not there in the title block. So this is important, title block is important. So the size of the title block is uh, generally 65 by 185. So this is the size of the title block and uh, the position of the title block is on the lower portion and right side. So what are the things that are present in the title blocks? Name of the firm, title of the drawing, scale, then symbol for projection, drawing number, then uh, the signs, initial signs of the person who have uh, checked, designed the drawings, and the number of uh, sheet, if the total sheet is uh, more than one. So these are the things that should be there in the title block. So you should remember these things. Pehle the question has to be in title box. Pe, or, and this is very important. So these are the things uh, that should be there in the title block. So then the next important thing is lines. What are the various type of lines? So first of all, uh, we need to see the what are the specification of pencil that we should use while drawing various type of lines. So for initial work and construction line, the pencil should be H. For outline, dotted lines, section, plane lines, dimension lines. So this should be done by twice H pencil. And for center lines, then 3H or 4H can be used. So you can expect one question from this. So for initial line, initial work and construction line, which type of pencil is used? And there may be several uh, options, H, twice H, HB like that. So uh, this is important. So you should know which type of pencil is recommended for which work. But then there are type of lines. So the first type of line you see here is the type A, which is a continuous uh, thick line or you can say continuous wide line. So uh, in, this is used for what type of purposes? So this is for use for outline of the drawing which are visible, visible outlines or visible edges. Uh, so in this the drawing if you see, so this is the outline of the drawing. So this outline should be drawn as continuous thick lines. So this is the outline of the drawing. So visible outlines or visible edges, these are the visible edges which can be shown from top view. So this should be drawn in continuous thick lines. Then the type B, B type of line is continuous thin or narrow lines. So these are imaginary lines of the intersection, dimension lines, projection lines, hedging lines, 
so these are the lines so here if you see uh, this is the type a which is the outline which is drawn by this continuous thick line so here you can see an example of uh, type b line section line so for this type of work section mark then for uh, dimension this uh, dimension lines so this has to be done by continuous thick lines then the next type is type c uh, which is uh, free hand lines and continuous thin so in case of a long break line so this can be given so if you need to see a break say there is a very long uh, plate which is there and you are not uh, drawing the full plate so in order to show the break you can use free lines free uh, free hand and uh, free hand drawn lines continuous thin lines then this type of line type d continuous thin lines with zigzag this is also used for long break lines then there is a dashed uh, dashed line thick uh, dashed thick lines which is used for uh, showing uh, surfaces so then uh, the next important is hidden lines or dotted lines so in case of uh, hidden in case of hidden lines or dotted lines the specification given is it should be given equal lengths of about uh, about uh, 2 mm so 2 mm space and there should be a gap of 1 mm so 2 mm line then a gap of 1 mm again 2 mm so this is can be used as a hidden hidden line or dotted lines then another type is the center line so uh, this is the type of uh, center line which is used so the center line is uh, drawn to indicate the axis of a uh, cylindrical conical section the center line specification is a uh, long and short dashes so it should be long and short dashes this is the type of center line uh, long and short dashes Uh, of about uh, six to eight times the shorter dashes. The short dashes are about uh, 1.5 mm, and the longer dashes should be six to eight mm, and the spacing should be one mm in between. So uh, we can expect some question from this, like uh, for center lines, what is the spacing between uh, short and long dashes? So it should be one mm. or for uh, hidden or dotted lines uh, the question may be what is the uh, gapping between two dashes so this also should be 1 mm or it may ask that what is the length of the dashes so it should be 2 mm so these are the some of the important points in case of uh, lines uh, for center line for hidden line and for hatching lines this is the section line or hatching line so this is drawn at an angle of 45 degree so this is also another important thing so what is the angle of the hatching lines it may be asked so it is 45 degree so these are the some of the important points in case of lines you need to remember then if we come to lettering so for lettering the important thing is to notify that uh, for in is standard what is the type of lettering that is recommended so in is standards for engineering work type of for lettering recommended is single stroke so single stroke type of letters are recommended in is code for engineering drawing purposes so this uh, single stroke line may be of uh, two types it may be vertical or it may be inclined so in case of inclined line uh, what is the inclination so it should be 75 degree 
with the horizontal. So this also you need to remember. So the for incline line it is uh, 75 degree inclination with horizontal, and uh, the type of lettering that is recommended for in IS code is single stroke lettering for engineering purposes. So these uh, two things you need to remember in case of lettering. Then the next important thing is uh, dimensioning. <coughs> so dimensioning is important. Pehle bhi question aa chuka hai dimensioning se. So types of dimensioning. So there are two types of uh, dimensioning. Uh, the first one is the sized or functional dimensioning, and the second type is location or datum. So these are the two types of function uh, dimensioning. First one is the functional type or functional or size, and then second one is the location. so what are the uh, functional types the functional types are uh, say the length breadth height so diameter so this will be shown by functional so here this is a functional type and uh, this may be said as a Location type or data type because this dimensioning is showing the location of the uh, uh, location some location and uh, this is showing the size of of the drawing so this is the type of functional or size and this is the location type so these are the two types of dimensioning you need to remember then what are the types of uh, lines. What are the various uh, definitions? So, this is known as the dimension line. So, your dimension line is a thin continuous line, and it has uh, arrowheads on the two sides. So, the uh, dimension will be shown by these dimension lines. Uh, then there is uh, extension lines so these are the extension lines so this extension lines uh, as recommended in the is code is so there should be a gap of uh, 1 mm to start the extension line from the figure and it should extend 3 mm from the dimension lines so from this dimension line it should extend 3 mm and there should be a gap of 1 mm from the diagram then there is arrowhead so these are the arrowheads <coughs> so there is some specification of the arrowhead also so the specification of the arrowhead is that uh, the the size of this arrowhead should be 1 is to 3 in the proportion of 1 is to 3 so if this is 1 then this the length of the arrowhead should be 3 times so this is the um, specification for arrowheads then for placing of this dimensioning there are two types of placing which is very important so इस पर भी क्वेश्चन आ चुका है पहले वाटर दिस टाइप ऑफ प्लेसिंग सो सिस्टम ऑफ प्लेसिंग ऑफ डायमेंशन आर द फर्स्ट वन इज नेम डेस एलाइन सिस्टम एंड द सेकेंड वन इज नोन एज यूनि डिरेक्शनल सिस्टम so what is a line type of system
so in case of uh, a line type of system the dimensions are placed perpendicular to the dimension line so suppose uh, we have to give dimension of this so in case of uh, unit direct uh, align system the say if this is the dimension line so if the red line is the dimension lines then the dimension would be placed perpendicular to the dimension line that means the uh, it should be written as 50 like this and say if we have to uh, show the dimension here so here say we say 20 so this is like this so in case of this align system the dimensions are written perpendicular to the dimension line so if this is your dimension line then the dimensions are written perpendicular to this so this is the dimension line so this dimension is written perpendicular to this dimension line and the placing is it is placed in the middle and on the top of the or above the dimension line so this is your align system of dimensioning so it is placed Uh, so that you can read the dimension either from the bottom or from the right side so if uh, there is a figure like this so either you can place the dimension uh, here or you can place the dimension here so this is a relay type of system where dimension can be placed such that it can be read from the bottom or from right side now what is the unidirectional type of uh, dimension so in case of uh, unidirectional type of dimensioning the dimension will be placed uh, like it is broken at the middle so the dimension will be placed like that so the dimension line will be broken at the middle and the dimension will be placed here so this is your unidirectional type of dimensioning and when you need to say place the dimension here so it will be written like this so here the dimension is always written so that it can be read from the bottom side of the drawing sheet so if we need to place the dimension on this side so the dimension line will be broken at the middle and the dimension will be written here so in this type of reading the dimension is written in one direction only so it is written always in the horizontal direction so it is always written in the horizontal direction so that it can be read only from the bottom side of the sheet so all the dimension is will be horizontally written so that it can be read from the bottom side of the sheet so this is known as unidirectional system matlab ek hi direction mein sare dimensioning likha jayega ek hi direction mein that means in the horizontal direction and in the aligned direction so it will be aligned with the dimension lines so these are the two types of dimensioning that you need to remember So, यहां से क्वेश्चन आ सकते हैं और पहले भी क्वेश्चन आ चुके हैं सो आफ्टर दिस डायमेंशन लाइन्स आर कंप्लीटेड द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इज स्केल्स सो वॉट आर दरियस टाइप्स ऑफ स्केल्स सो द स्केल्स में भी एक्सप्रेस इन थ्री वेज first one is the known as engineer scales so in case of engineer scales the scales will be written as say 10 mm is equal to 5 meter like this then the next type is the graphical scale so graphical scale pe kya kya aa jayega graphical scale pe the scale is drawn on the map itself so the scale will be map uh, drawn on the 
drawing or map itself. So this is the type of graphical scale, and the third type is known as the representative fraction. So in case of a representative fraction, the, it is uh, noted as uh, RF, and uh, this is defined as the length of the drawing divided by actual length of object. So your representative fraction is defined as length of the drawing divided by actual length of the object. So say the length of the drawing in a sheet is say 1 mm and the actual length of the object at this field is say 5 meter. So what will be your representative fraction? So your representative fraction will be length of the drawing. So this is 1 mm and this is 5 mm. So uh, this 5 mm again need to be converted to same units as this. So if this is 1 mm, so here you need to multiply 1000. So it will be 1 by 5000. So this will be your representative fraction. So this is very important representative fraction. Questions will come from representative fraction. So one thing is to remember, it is length of the drawing by actual length of the object and you should uh, calculate it in the same unit. So both the both this should be in the same units. So question may ye jo length of the object diya jayega. Ye length of the drawing se, se length of the drawing will be in uh, mm or centimeter generally and the length of the object may be given in meter or say maybe kilometers also. So is ko same units pe convert karke then we need to calculate the representative fraction. Then what are the types of scales? So the types of scales are plane scale, then diagonal scale, then the third one is comparative scale, then we have uh, linear scale. And the fifth one is scale of chords. So this is the example of a plane scale. So in case of plane scale, there will be main divisions and the main division will be again subdivided into smaller divisions. So in case of plane scale, you can represent any two successive units. So successive units means, uh, say if you say, so if you mean by successive, say this is a millimeter, then centimeter, decimeter, decameter, hectometer, kilometer. So these are the any two subse uh, subsequent units. So in plane scale, you can uh, represent any two successive units. So here you can say example is centimeter and decimeter. So centimeter and decimeter, or you can represent millimeter or centimeter. So main important thing up to Janna hai ki plane scale me kisi two units ko represent kar sakte ho. Then when it comes to your diagonal scale, so in case of a diagonal scale, you can represent any three successive units. So koi bhi three successive units ko aap represent kar sakte ho. Say decameter, hectometer or kilometer or millimeter, centimeter, decimeter or centimeter, decimeter, 
kilometer so like this so यहाँ पे मेन इंपॉर्टेंट चीज ये है कि डायगोनल स्केल में किसी थ्री सक्सेसिव यूनिट्स को आप रिप्रेजेंट कर सकते हो सो so, यहाँ पे देखिए मीटर डेसीमीटर एंड सेंटीमीटर सो so, तीन सक्सेसिव यूनिट्स को दिखाया गया है देन वेन इट कम्स टू वर्नियर स्केल वर्नियर स्केल इज सिमिलर टू योर डायगोनल स्केल बट इट इज मोर प्रिसाइज सो इन वर्नियर स्केल ऑल्सो Three successive units can be represented, but the difference with the diagonal scale is it is more accurate. Now, what is the comparative scale? So, in case of a comparative scale, uh, you can uh, the representative representative fraction is same. So, in case of a comparative scale, the representative fraction will be same. But the units will be different. So, say the representative scales can may be drawn separately, or maybe can be drawn above one above another. So, say this is one representative scale, so and another scale. So this is uh, say this is showing in inches, and say this is showing in meters. So units will be different. But the representative fraction will be same. So, using this comparative scale, you can convert the dimension from one system of unit to other system. So, this is very important to remember. Say, uh, in question, it may be given that uh, some uh, this much millimeter has to be converted to this much inches. so in what type of scale you can do it so the answer should be comparative scale and the another important thing is the representative fraction will be same so suppose yaha pe aap is scale pe aap kuch ek line measure kar rahe hain line ab so yaha pe jitna distance mila then if you place the same distance here so same case of meter you will know this is how much meter so Say if this is in three inches, so if you place three inches here directly, so you will know how much bigger it is. So यहाँ पे आप convert कर सकते हैं एक एक type of unit से दूसरा type of unit पे, but the representative fraction will be same. So this is about your comparative scale, and uh, last one is the scale of chords. so in case of scale of chords you can measure the angles so scale of chord pe aapko yahi yaad rakhna hai ki scale of chords to agar question pe pucha jayega ki in what type of scale we can measure angles so your answer should be scale of chords so in case scale of chords you can measure angles so this is an overview about uh, different type of uh, scales now say what is the length of the scale so this will be known as the length of the scale so say in question if it is said that you have to measure a distance of 10 meter and uh, the representative fraction may be given as say 1 is to 500 or say may be given that 1 cm on the drawing is measuring say Uh, 50 meter on the field. So this data may be given, and it can be said that, said that uh, you have to measure a distance of 10 meters. So what should be the length of the scale? So your length of the scale should be your this uh, representative fraction into this distance. So whatever the distance it is, 
So this should be your length of the scale. So what is this length of the scale represents? Of length of the scale can be correct correctly. Then you can draw the scale on the paper. So this is your length of the scale. So length of the scale is maximum length that need to be measured into representative fraction. So this unit you need to remember you have a question asked by what is the length of the scale. So maximum length into representative fraction. Now, if you see here, this is your uh, showing a diagonal scale. Then, what is the principle of uh, diagonal scale? So, in case of diagonal scale, this is your main dimensions, main divisions, and uh, this is your uh, subsequent divisions from main division. So, this is one meter. So, if this is a divided, this main one division is divided in 10 parts. So, each part will give you one decimeter. Now, how to measure centimeter in this? So, what is the principle behind that? So, say this is a length AB, any length. Now, if you draw another line here and if you divide it into 10 equal parts, So, say this is your 10 equal parts and uh, say this is middle. So, in case of from similar triangles, uh, we can know that this, this is the 0.5 times of this AB because this distance, if say this is uh, 10, so this is 5 because we are dividing it in equal parts and 10 equal parts. So from similar triangles, so we can know that if this is this length is 10 and this is 5. So this length should be half of this. So if this is half of this same, then this should be 0.9 times of this AB. So this will be 0.9 times of AB. This will be 0.9 times of this AB. So this will be 0.1 times of AB. So, this principle is used here in case of diagonal scale. So, in case of diagonal scale, say this is your one dimension, then if we join this diagonally like that, and this is a divided in 10 equal parts, so each of this will give you 0.1 times of this. So, this was this much distance was over 1 meter and this one small division was 1 decimeter. So, agar ye agar 1 decimeter hai, so this will be 0.9 decimeter, this will be 0.8 decimeter and like that this will be 0.1 decimeter. So, this is the principle of uh, diagonal scale. Now, what is the principle behind uh, your linear scales? Uh, this is the showing a linear scale. 
so in case of vernier scale what will be done so say this is one main division which is in meter so this is one meter and this is one main division so if this one main division is divided in 10 equal parts so this one division will give you one decimeter so what is done in case of uh, this uh, vernier scale so in case of vernier scale here if we extend one box so this is distance is equal to 11 decimeter and then this 11 decimeter is divided in 10 equal parts then one part will be 1.1 decimeter so this one part will be given as 1.1 decimeter and this one part is 1 decimeter so uh, this is your uh, the principle of the hardier scale now some of the question that may be asked so the question may be say a rf is given representative fraction is given of say 1 is to 25 and you have to read the centimeters up to uh, 4 meter and you have to read in centimeters up to 4 meter so what should be the length of the scale so your length of the scale would be this maximum length representative fraction into maximum length so which means 4 meter so 4 meter you need to convert it into centimeter so uh, if you convert this uh, 4 meter into 100 centimeter so if you calculate this will keep how much centimeters so this will be the length of this scale so this type of question may be asked what is the length of this scale then the next question may be a plane scale a plane scale can measure say the question may be a plane scale can measure and the option may be meter decimeter centimeter the second option may be given as say kilometer meter decimeter say your third option is meter and decimeter so you should know that the plane scale can uh, represent any two successive units so you know this is the, these are two units so this will be your answer and if in case of plane scale it was given as a diagonal scale so if you diagonal scale then the answer should be any three successive units then say the representative fraction may be asked for say you may be asked to find the representative fraction and uh, the distances may be given in meter square that means area may be given so if area is given say y say y meter square area is given which is it's represented x say meter square in the drawing so what will be the representative fraction question may be then so you have to confuse the name if the uh, dimensions are given in meter so your answer should be if this is y meter square then the answer should be y y by x square so this should be your representative fraction so if the area is given then you need to square root it to find the uh, convert it into length so area they give up and uh, put on this cursor but you have to uh, root over just up to square root equal line area self to length they convert the line so these are the some important uh, concepts about scales and the last type of scale is scale of chords so the scale of chords say up for the other details may be done but say that scale of chords is used to 
मेजर एंगल्स तो आपको यहां से अगर क्वेश्चन आएगा तो एक ही क्वेश्चन आएगा कि एंगल्स कैन बी मेजर टू एंड इफ इफ एन इज ए लर्नियर स्केल सेकंड ऑप्शन इज प्लेन स्केल एंड द थर्ड ऑप्शन इज ए स्केल ऑफ कोर्स सो योर आंसर शुड बी स्केल ऑफ कोर्स फॉर मेजरिंग एंगल्स so after this there is curves so conic sections to so, so, conic section kyun bolte hain kyunki if you cut a cone about uh, various planes so the shapes that will be given will be known as conic sections so so if a parabola if you cut making it the section is uh, parallel to the base then it will be form an ellipse so this will form an ellipse then say if a parabola will be found if the uh, section is cut making it perpendic uh, parallel to one of the generators so these are known as generator so say if this is uh, parallel to any of the sides so this is parallel to this side so if it is parallel to any sides so the section a cut then the type of uh, that you will get it is parabola then what is a ellipse how do we get an ellipse so if a section is uh, inclined to axis uh, so and all the generators are on one side of the apex so this will give you an ellipse so this is an ellipse so this section will give you an ellipse parabola will be given if this is parallel to any of the section and hyperbola you will get if the cutting section is parallel to axis of the cone so then you will get get a hyperbola so uh, we will continue from the next class so let's see what are the doubts you have for this class and then we can continue uh, hello students uh, please ask your doubts uh, to uh, shorob sir and we will continue uh, in the next class the left topics of the engineering graphics please ask your doubt aap log doubt puch sakte hain baki hum your conical sections uh, this thing will continue in the next class Vidul is asking, what is the size of title box? Okay, so the size of title box I have already said. So if you see here, so this is giving you the size of the title box. So it is. Uh, so the size of title box is 185 mm by 65 mm. So this is the size of title box. नेक्स्ट व्हाट इज क्वेश्चन पूछिए आपको जो पूछना 
any question and uh, we will upload this uh, video in the youtube channel so uh, uh, those who have missed our class uh, you can check our youtube channel we will edit the video and we will uh, upload in the youtube channel so you can uh, see it properly again in the youtube channel uh, again question conic section अच्छा ठीक है कॉमिक सेक्शन हम लोग नेक्स्ट क्लास में स्टार्ट करेंगे क्योंकि अभी तो एंड कर रहे हैं तो कॉमिक सेक्शन हम लोग कंटिन्यू करेंगे नेक्स्ट क्लास में सो अभी जस्ट स्टार्ट ही किया था बस बट द टाइम इज ऑलरेडी टेन सो विल कंटिन्यू द कॉमिक सेक्शन इन नेक्स्ट क्लास फिर पहले से हम बताएंगे कॉमिक सेक्शन क्या क्या होता है एंड दी वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ कॉमिक सेक्शन आर सो से दिस विल बी इलिप्स पेराबोला हाइपरबोला so these things we will discuss in the next class what is ellipse so the ellipse ka important question kya kya aa sakta hai hum log batayenge then hyperbola se kya question aa sakta hai wo bhi batayenge important so these things we will discuss in the next class so other type of uh, your curves will be this is a cycloid trochoid yahan pe bas sirf aapko definitions yaad karna hai so ye sab hum log next class pe batayenge so conic section next class ke liye chhod dijiye sab बिकॉज अभी स्टार्ट करके खत्म नहीं कर पाएंगे इट इज ऑलरेडी टेन सो वॉट एवर यू डिस्कस जस्ट यू कैन आस्क फ्रॉम दिस अपू स्केल स्केल इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट तो स्केल का आपको डाउट क्लियर होना चाहिए क्योंकि रिप्रेजेंटेटिव फ्रैक्शन दिया रहेगा क्वेश्चन में सो सेट दिस मॉन्स ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटेटिव फ्रैक्शन एंड यू हैव टू मेस से अपू फोर मीटर सो हार्ट विल बी द लेंथ ऑफ दी स्केल so this type of question may come or the aapko representative fraction nikalne ke liye bhi diya ja sakta hai to aapko bolega ki the distance of say 3 cm on the map and actual uh, length on the field is 20 m so what is the representative fraction so representative fraction will be distance on the map by distance on the ground but uh, lekin aapko isko same units pe रिप्रेजेंट करना पड़ेगा तो स्केल इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट फ्रॉम स्केल यू कैन आस्क 